You're listening to the Abounding Faith for Today podcast. Inspiration for you as you walk by abounding faith, hope, and love and live your God-given dreams. Welcome to the sixth episode of the Abounding Faith for Today podcast. I'm your host, Nancy Gavilanes, and I'm so happy that you've decided to join me today. Today, we're going to be talking about living your God-given dreams. I don't know if you're like me, but I am a dreamer and a doer. I love to have a to-do list and I love it even better to check things off. I just find some satisfaction in setting goals and meeting those goals. If you know anything about my story though, you know that early on in my journalism career, I was achieving a lot of my goals and dreams. I was pretty successful, but I didn't have my priorities in order. I was making my plans and then asking God to bless them afterwards. Hmm, I don't know if you see what's wrong with that equation, but if you're like me, back then I was making plans, choosing jobs, going on vacation. You can fill in the blank on decisions that you're making, including maybe moving or pursuing a different career, whatever it is. I want to encourage you to first seek the Lord. So the way I see it, the way to live your God-given dreams is to pray, dream, do, and repeat. And the verse that I'd like to share with you today is found in Proverbs 16.3. And it says, Commit thy works unto the Lord, and thy thoughts shall be established. See, the better way to do things is to pray first and seek God's heart towards you, towards his plans for you to really align your desires with his desires and then make your plans to accomplish those dreams. See, God has ordained good works for you to do. The Bible talks about faith that works. The Bible also talks about shining your light, letting your light shine. So God wants you to excel. He wants you to do well. Does that mean that it's going to be easy? No. Does it mean that it's going to be perfect? No, but he does have a plan to prosper you, not to harm you, plans to give you hope in a future, as it says in Jeremiah 29, 11. But how do we get there? We need to first spend lots of time with the Lord, seeking his guidance. And if you think about it, even Jesus had to pray. There's many instances in the Bible where Jesus prayed. Now, is that the only reason to pray? Of course not. But as you're praying, as you're reading the Bible, As you are listening to sermons and filling your mind with scripture, you'll get promptings and nudgings and direction from God. And he will also show you the next steps. So I want to remind you and encourage you that it's so important to pray first and then act. And when you do it in that order, God will give you the courage and he will give you the inspiration. He'll show you the way. He will make a way where there seems to be no way. So if you'd like to learn more about living your God-given dreams, I invite you to pick up a copy of my new book, By Faith, Adventures and Reflections on Walking with God Here and Abroad. I have a chapter on living your God-given dreams and I talk more about the practical steps and also the spiritual side of living your God-given dreams Because it's beautiful when we live out the plan of God for our lives, we bring glory and honor to him. And when we give our gifts, our time, our talents, our abilities to the work of God and the kingdom, then we see fruit. And so remember, as it says in Proverbs, to commit our ways to God and then he will handle the results. Doesn't that bring you peace? Doesn't that give you joy knowing that you can surrender your life to the Lord and allow him to work his plan for his good in your life. I look forward to hearing about what God places in your heart, what dreams he places in your heart and how you get to live them out. When you share with others what God is placing in your heart, when you share that with trusted friends and then when they see that happening in your life, it's amazing When I think back to some of the dreams that the Lord has placed in my life, a lot of what I'm doing today was not my idea at all, but I surrendered and I followed God's plan. And then I can look back and say, wow, God, you really are God and you really know what you're doing. Sometimes God may ask you to do something that seems so 
far away and far-fetched, but if he's placed it in your heart and if you pray and give him time and really obey his plan for your life, then you will see how God brings it to pass. So again, go ahead and pray, dream, do, and repeat. Just keep doing it over and over again. Amen? Let me pray for you. Father God, I thank you, Lord. I thank you, Father, that you love us and you want the best for us, Lord. And I thank you that even when we go through difficult times and difficult seasons, you're still working your plan and purpose for us and no one can stop that. And so I thank you, Lord, and I pray for the courage and the wisdom to live out the plan that you have for us, Lord. I thank you, Father, that you can do exceedingly, abundantly, above all that we can ask or think or hope for. And I thank you, Father, that you know how we will do that. You know when it will happen. And you just ask us to trust you, to obey, and to wait on you, and to do the good works that you put in front of us to do. So I thank you, Lord. I thank you for your grace and your mercy and your strength, Lord. And I pray for your peace, Lord, as we are waiting for all the pieces of the puzzle to be put together to create that beautiful masterpiece that you have for us, Lord. I thank you that you've already written a beautiful story for us, Lord, and it's unfolding. So I thank you, Lord. And we ask this all in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen and amen. I hope this encourages you. If you'd like to learn more about some of what God's asked me to do in these last couple of years in particular, as well as how you can live your God-given dreams, then I invite you to pick up a copy of By Faith, Adventures and Reflections on Walking with God Here and Abroad on Amazon or also on barnesandnoble.com. Until next time, God bless. You've been listening to the Abounding Faith for Today podcast. For more encouragement on your faith journey, visit AboundingFaith.com and follow Abounding Faith on social media.